Hello everyone, it's Randall here, how you doing? Um, I am talking to you from my little bedroom here in the, oops, the back of my head. <laughs> talking to you from my little bedroom here in the In my room, in my, my little bedroom down here, and below the university, and then here's the, you know, the wood generator. I have been doing some work on the university up there, and I, I feel really bad. I have neglected to show you some of the progress I've been making. I've made a lot more progress, and I'm about not quite through. Well, I'm, I've got a, I've got it going at a really good pace. The only stumbling block is this stuff here, leather. Grinding away, yes, I'm grinding away, making uh, leather, right? But it takes a long time. So I'm, what I've been doing is doubling up on them. So instead of just making one, one batch of uh, calves, I make two or three batches, right? Two or three batches of calves and then turn on the machine so that I, I can harvest the leather. That way I get at least a little bit more than a stack each time. So each time I'm doing this, and it takes 20 minutes for them to grow up, right? Each time I do this, I'm only making more roughly one stack. And so you need, like to make one bookcase, you need three stacks of, uh, to make one stack of bookcases, you need three stacks of uh, leather. So bookcases are quite expensive. I'm down to 30 now. I started with a stack of wheat. And I've been using a lot of that. See, look. This machine almost gone here. And uh, I've been going over to get more paper so that I can make books, right? And I went and got a bunch of more paper, and I'm already started using that too. But see, there's still a bunch there. So I'm working at it. So this is what I've been doing all this time, the last week or so. I've been just grinding away, making more leather, and then making uh, bookcases to populate the library upstairs. Let's go take a look at it. Put this away. Put my armor back on. And turn on the machine. I've seen I watch. The lava will turn on down there. Now they won't all die right now because I just now made some calves, and so you'll see some up here. Here, let's see, is it moving yet? This number should change any second now. Maybe, maybe not. It's making a liar out of me. Well, anyway, so let's go upstairs. Technically, this is the first floor. I had these labeled differently before. Technically, this is the second floor. So, I'm not sure if I showed you this. This is the lobby, the reference desk of the library. I'll show you outside in a minute. Let me show you inside. But you see how many bookcases I needed? So this is the reference area. And I'm gonna probably dress it up a little bit more. I put in restrooms. Here's the women's restroom. I use the old mirror technique, you know, put some ice in there. Unfortunately, the men's restroom has urinals. And so obviously you can't put women you can't put urinals in a women's restroom, but you can see these two things. So I think those turned out pretty good. Check that out. Those turned out pretty good. Um a quartz stair, and then I put a, a banner, a white banner in there to simulate the lid. And I think that works out pretty good. And then this is a um item frame and a, and a piece of uh, wool to simulate the, uh, the toilet paper. And then this is an item frame and a banner to simulate uh, uh, towel, paper towels. See, from here it looks okay because you turn around here and you turn around there and it looks the same. It looks like you're looking in a mirror. Of course, that means you're a vampire because you can't see yourself. So, and I changed the uh, the base. I'm not the base, but the uh, there used to be a spiral staircase here and I changed that and, and put in these stairs. And then this is the pedestal, right? This floor is the pedestal floor, right? I don't think you saw all this. I'll show you this all in a minute. Let's take a look at the interior first. 
Here's the fourth floor. This is the first level of stacks. They used to call them stacks. These are the stacks. I think it just turned out pretty good. Check this out. And then there was always, you know, areas where the st students, where we could sit down and study. Quiet areas right here. Look at this. It turned out pretty good, I think. I think it turned out real nice. A lot of item frames. A lot of wood stairs. And then uh, there'd be a ref there'd be a reference room where you could you know like have a little study have a little study group maybe meet in here that sort of thing. And then more stairs and more. Uh, there's just one study, one open area on this floor. And then I also put in this thing here so I can get down quickly. There's uh, some, what you call it down there, some slime blocks. And so level five is larger than level four. And then I, like I said, I put in bathrooms in each floor. These, there's only one. So these are exact mirror images of each other. So that turned out really good. But instead of cauldrons, I used... Uh, hoppers, I thought that looked a little bit nicer. Simulate a, uh, it simulates, I think it simulates a, 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 a sink a little bit better, especially since I couldn't put trip wires, a trip, uh, uh, trip wire hooks on here to simulate a, 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 a faucet. So I thought instead of doing that, the cauldron sitting there, I thought I'd use uh, hoppers instead. So there's men's and women's bathrooms on both, on, on every floor. And then the, the uh, level five is much larger than level four. And so it has larger areas here, like this area here. And the view gets the views really nice. I thought of another project, too. Another small project. Let's see. where. Okay, we're on this side. That's what used to be the south. That's what usually is the south side. I'll show you when I get to the sixth floor. I have another project that I'm going to put over that way. But anyway, see? This turn, I mean, this looks a lot like what I remember it to be. It's kind of eerie. Not eerie, but I really like this. I really like the way this turned out. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Let's, let's go to sixth floor. This is the largest floor in terms of width. And as you can see, I need a whole bunch more bookcases and that's why I'm grinding away you see I have a long way to go and like I said the bathrooms the drop and so my idea let me see are we looking at the right direction no that's the swamp over there I used to every once in a while when I was working, the, the job I had was it was my job to put away books and so we'd get books from downstairs. I'd come into work and we'd get we'd get a stack of books and you know on a cart downstairs. We'd come up here and we'd uh, uh you know we'd we put the books away. Me and my friend. Let's see where where am I looking? What do I want to look at? Oh, that's that's in something else. And there's one fond memory I I had. I think I told you guys. I'm not sure if I told you that. Uh, I might have told you this already. I'm not sure. I'll tell you again. Uh. uh Miramar Air Base, where they shot Top Gun, it was in that direction. You can almost see it from here. It's a little bit farther away. But uh, Miramar Air Base, the Naval Air Base, it's a Marine Air Base now, it was, is in that direction. And so every afternoon at a certain time, a flight of F-18s could be seen streaking their way across this window, across this area, uh, over the ocean, you know, going out on patrol, going, on, uh, going out on their daily afternoon patrol. And I would stand here and watch, and at on the sixth floor, they were almost at eye level. You see that cloud over there? They weren't too. They were lower than that cloud, and they were higher than the the trees because there were trees there. Um, and you could just see the F-18s just streak out over the streak out across from the library and over to the ocean. And you know what it used to make me think? That sound they made. Of course, it's very loud, but you know what it remind that that sound? I know it sounds corny. When I saw it, when I saw that those F-18s, I used to think, freedom. That's what America's about. I'm, I'm afraid so. That's what America's about. Not afraid, but that's what America's about. You know, 
we we take we take these we make these sacrifices right so that we can have freedom so that we can you know i know i'm getting waxing political over here so that we can uh, talk smack about people and we can say you know we can have uh, uh, differences of opinion and stuff and that's what it's about and so level seven i need lots of bookcases and level eight <laughs> I should close this off. Level 8 was private collections. Not too many people got to come up here. And so, uh, and then here's access to the roof. Hey, what happened here? And there goes the sun. So, you know, here's, here's the roof access. Obviously, I put a couple of air conditioning condensers up here. And this is the uh, outline of the central core. And there, there usually there would be uh, elect not electronics, but just you know, uh, uh, also building stuff in here. You know, like uh, electrical and mechanical stuff would be here too. So, I've almost finished the library. I'll show you what it looks like from the front, but I want to show you this too. I've started on the next building. There's the foundation of it now. It's going. It's uh, the uh, APM building. At UCSD, it's the uh, it's quite a unique looking building on Muir, Muir College campus. APM stands for Applied Physics and Mathematics. I had a class in there once or twice. It's a very interesting looking building. It's uh, you know it's it's, it's going to be made out of cobblestone, and it was all made out of stone, but it had some quite the facade was rather unique. I mean, it looked mm, real busy. It's it was real busy. I, I'll show it to you when when you know. I'll try to make some more progress reports so that you won't see it now and then see it finished already. Let's take a look at the library. You know what, I think I'm alone on the server, so I'm gonna go to sleep. And that way you can see in the daytime. Hang on. And then we'll end the episode right there. So I'm sure we've gone over 30 minutes, let's see. Let's go to sleep. Go to sleep, go to sleep. Go to sleep, go to sleep, my little Durando. Oh, oh, I opened the wrong door. I gave myself a little door here so that I can uh, double check on the uh, calves. Let's see. Yeah, see, they, there they are above the lava. See, so this is what I've been doing. I've been, instead of just, you know, killing those right there, what I do is uh, I have been feeding them. Whoops, I can't do that. I need to turn this off. Wait a minute. Yeah, feed him one more time. And put some more calves down there. That way, I get more leather. Although it takes longer now, I gotta wait another twenty minutes. Grinding away. That's what I've been doing all week. Just grinding away. Okay, so see, like I said, I opened the door to my uh, bedroom here. I opened the door to it so that I can get in and out. I've been AFKing over here, and. Uh, Trying to uh, build up my uh, leather supply. Nope. Okay, let's go take a look at the outside now that it's daytime. I gotta go up this way. Here we go. And we'll go out the front door. This is also the way it looked. You know, the front door was below level. And there was actually another level below this, but I'm not going to do that level. I mean, obviously, I'm not, well, not obviously, but there was also, um, look at these damn Endermen. A pox on all Endermen. Uh, there would be, there would be a, a more, there's more library, like there'd be like a small ravine right here, and there'd be library over there, two, uh, two, two floors over there, and that went around that way, and I'm not going to do all that. Anyway, take a look. What do you guys think? I think it turned out real nice. Bam! I think it turned out real nice. Don't you? Look at that. Especially with the look when you see the books in there. This is just the way it looks. I'm telling you. I really like it. I really like the way it turned out. One minor thing. I wish I didn't have to put uh sea lanterns in not not on the, not on the building itself but i wish i didn't have to put sea lanterns on the top of those pillars because it makes it a little bit too busy 
But if I didn't, it would be too dark in there. I, I, as you can see, I had to put sea lanterns almost everywhere. I had to get rid of those. Uh, the last time you saw it, there was a bunch of, you know, a bunch of uh, torches in there, like it is here. I had to get rid of that. And so sea lanterns was, was the way to go. And I had to put sea lanterns on the outside too, because they were spawning outside, outside of the. Uh, but what do you guys think? I think it turned out really nice. I'm not done with it yet. I got to put in the rest of the stacks. But I think it turned out really nice. And so then the APM building is going to go right here. And it was, uh, let's see, there's going to be like, this is going to be a hallway right here. And then all this is classrooms here. Uh, so seven levels up. So it's almost going to match that. I didn't want to block the view north, but I guess it's going to block it somewhat. And then over here, where this is, this is, there was a small bridge, like about, Maybe about this, about like maybe four blocks. There was a bridge here that, that was like open to the sky, you know, just, you know, just, you know, look down and so. And um, then all these were like uh, offices for the teachers and in small seminar rooms for grad students and stuff. And the same thing about this is seven levels here too. So this building's going to go here. And then. Uh, Over here will be Uri Hall. That's uh, a, a, an engineering building on Ravel campus. So it's going to go here. Yeah, I like that little hillside there. I'm not sure what. I, I'm gonna, obviously, I'm going to leave that hillside there and not touch it, but uh, I wonder if there's a way I can use it later. I'm not sure. Whoops. So let's see. Yeah, that building will go. Whoops, I knew I was going to make that. Let's see if I can get back on top of these things. Yeah, right along here. Right in here will be like another six or eight story building. And then over here. Right over here, in this area right here, where I'm standing, all this will be the Price Center. The price Center was the student center, Price being, you know, Saul Price, uh, uh, you know, uh, price, price Club, you know, Costco. Uh, I guess he donated some money to get this thing built. I think Costco started in San Diego, I'm not sure, or at least in, the, uh, in California somewhere. So... The Price Center is this huge complex. It has theaters, offices for student organizations, the, the student bookstore, uh, uh, a, a, a small, not small, but a medium-sized area like down at the bottom there. It, it was really nice because um, the elevation went from like say there down a bit and then there was like a waterfall that went down, a pool down at the bottom and then down at the bottom was like a small square it's actually it's actually round where students would, could have rallies and stuff and that was like all like i said that was a down from the student store which is like at this level and at this level was uh like i said student offices uh a, a theater and then back there was a food court that had like wendy's and burger king and uh, and and um regular you know regular vendors where the students could eat and then behind it they built there's a new unit behind it where they built even more stuff. I'm not sure I'm going to build that part. It wasn't there when I was going to school there, but it's there now. It's, it's a rather another rather unique looking building. Uh, I love architecture, and that's that's one of the reasons I like uh, Minecraft. I think because I because I like uh, architecture. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Hopefully, I would not hopefully, but I'll try to show more progress so that uh, you see the APM building go up. And, and not see it, uh, hey, a bad guy. You won't see it go up, uh, you know, like, you know, you see it now and then, hey, who said you can come visit us? Where do you go? Where do you go? You must have despawned. Oh, I forgot to show you this. Um, this library, the official name 
is the Geisel Library. I don't know if you can see that from here. Let's see. No, you can't see it. The official name of this library is the Geisel Library, uh, being uh, uh, Theodore Geisel, Theodore S. Geisel, and for, for much, most of you know as Dr. Seuss. He, he, he lived in La Jolla, and he donated a lot of money to the library. So, uh, so in honor of him, they made, a, they made a, a bronze statue of him sitting here in about this same spot, a bronze statue of him sitting here with the cat and the hat behind him. I guess like he being his muse and, and helping him uh, write his books. Anyway, so I thought I'd pay homage to that and also put, uh, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not sure how I could build a complex looking statue of a man like this high. You know, I, I mean, yeah, I could build a statue of like maybe 15 blocks high, but not that small. You can't represent a statue that small. So I used armor stands. There's the chair, and then, this, and then there he was sitting at his desk, and I used the gold blocks sitting at his desk, and then of course the cat in the hat behind him, and I thought that's probably the best I could do. Anyway, I put a sign up to explain what it was, and so once again, see you guys later. Later for you. Talk to you guys later. See you next time. Bye.